Winter has returned to Missoula, Montana, but so has the University of Montana Grizzly offense. After a record-setting weekend against Cal Poly, a 57 to nothing shutout, the Grizz serve notice that they are back. But the Eagles come in from Eastern Washington by cornerback Trey Weed with the Eagles. Here's another pass to Osmo out of the backfield, breaks it field, and he's in for the score! Nick Osmo picking up right where he left off last week. Lucas Johnson again with Osmo moving in the backfield. He'll hand it to Osmo, and he has a big running right up the middle. Breaks into the open. He could go across the 50. Nick Osmo, the 20. No one's going to catch him. That's another touchdown for the Montana Grizzlies. Wow. wow. First and goal, Montana with the ball at the five-yard line. Lucas Johnson has a wide open. Keelan White in the end zone. Another Montana touchdown. Nick Osmo in the backfield. The Grizzlies have their tight end set in there. They give us to Osmo, and he's in the end zone for another Montana touchdown. Just too easy, Jay, or press coverage. Osmo in motion. Here comes Johnson. He'll pitch it to Nick. Across the 20, breaks at the 15. Down to the 10. Watts into the end zone. And friends, that is another Montana Grizzly touchdown. Another touchdown for Osmo. Game. He'll give it to Isaiah Childs, and he's in for the score. And that, my friends, another Montana Grizzly touchdown. Yeah, Jay, that was a walk in. The Eagles need him at his best. Here's Daniel Britt throwing to the end zone. Wide open. Cole Grossman, touchdown, Montana. You got to like Cole Grossman. Take the handoff to Childs. Britt's going to run up the middle. He has nothing but green. He's going to get in for the touchdown, Daniel. Now he has a rushing touchdown to go along with a passing touchdown, his first two in his Montana career. Yeah, now he's got his first rushing touchdown. He got his first passing touchdown. 6-17 left here in the third quarter, second and goal from the five. Asparis wants to throw it across the middle, and Marcus Well now thought he might have a beat on it, but it went right over his head, and it's complete for the touchdown. The Montana Grizzly defense Finally, gives up some points. Pass complete. The touchdown to Blake Goble, the tight end, who was just called for the false start two plays ago, so he redeemed himself quickly. Britt, he'll hand off again. Oh, touchdown, Montana Eli Gilman, and his first career touchdown for the Montana Grizzlies. Wow. Eli scores. To make it 62 offensive points. They had 57 last week. It's getting out of hand. They've got plenty of momentum going into the brawl of the wild next week. And go back to the playoff implications. I think they just put a stamp on that thing. So as the clock ticks down the final 30 seconds, Bobby Hawk running out midfield to greet head coach Aaron Best. They, they embrace in the middle of the field. And it's not the day Aaron Best had in mind. It probably is the game that Bobby Houck had in mind. The Grizzlies improved to seven and three. That's that seventh victory that was so important. Now they're four and three in conference. Eastern Washington falls to two and eight overall, one and six in conference. It's the first time in 15, 16 seasons that Eastern Washington is not going to be part of the FCS playoffs. Thanks so much for watching today as the Grizzlies were all over Eastern Washington by the final score of 63 to seven. Stick around on these MTN stations. It's Montana State heading to the warmer climates of California. They take on Cal Poly tonight at 6. And join us again next week for the 121st Brawl of the Wild. Grizzlies head to Bozeman to take on the Cats for the Great Divide Trophy. I'm Jay Cohn. We'll see you next Saturday. Have a good night, everybody.